All right, y'all, in today's video, I'm going to be making a real simple squirrel and dumplings recipe. So really, the only ingredients that we have, chicken broth, a few squirrels, a cooking onion, and then biscuits for the dumplings. You know, along with a little bit of salt, uh, some pepper, but really, that, that's about it. So I'm going to start out by dicing up this onion. You don't need a whole lot. That's why I'm starting with a partial onion here. Yeah, really about that much, maybe a little bit, a little more. Yeah. Not a whole lot of onion here, as you can see. It's maybe about three quarters of a cup of diced onion. They don't have to be real small. All right guys, we're gonna be cooking this low and slow. I'm gonna set this to eight hours. big red squirrel and then part of a gray squirrel that's all I'm gonna use for this recipe so these are gonna be cooking low and slow like I said and then your chicken broth and a little black pepper. We'll see you guys in eight hours. Only about three and a half hours to go guys. And it looks and smells great. Alright guys, so we have about an hour left of cooking time. One step that I did off camera was I went through and I actually removed all of the bones from the meat itself. So everything in here now is edible. There should be no cartilage, no bones, just meat, onions, and then our chicken broth. And it's very soupy, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a little bit of flour at a time to try and thicken this up just a little bit. Don't really need to add a whole lot. Try that. last part of the process the most simple way to do it is to just buy a can of biscuits
pan. You're just going to kind of roll these a little bit flat. They don't have to be perfect. Here, just going to cut them into strips. So, after you season your dumplings, your biscuits, there's a little bit of salt and pepper on this. That's when I want to coat it with the flour. From there I have my crock pot on high for 20 minutes. I'm just going to throw all of these pieces of dough into this mixture. All right, guys, so a couple of corrections. One of the ingredients that I actually left out was a little bit of garlic salt. Um, other than that, the only thing that I, m I messed up on this one is the biscuits or the dumplings. They took longer to set up than I remember in the past. It it's been a while since I've made a classic squirrel and dumpling recipe. And the last time I did this, it I thought it only took about 25 minutes for the biscuits to set up the dumplings. And this particular time, it took about 45 minutes. So it took 45 minutes for this to set up and for the biscuits to firm. But it looks just like, and it might not look very good on camera, but it looks just like uh, chicken and dumplings would. I had my wife take a taste of it, and knowing that she didn't really want to eat it, I wasn't expecting her to like it. But she said it was good. She said it tastes like chicken, which it does. And there's a piece of the squirrel meat maybe it'll focus maybe not oh lost a little yeah very good some of the biscuits dumplings aren't fully set but I couldn't wait any longer it's too good mm-hmm yes sir so again guys this is squirrel and dumplings from the squirrel I got the other day very good it's really great for cooler days, cold days, you know, you want something hearty. This is something that's going to warm up your body, warm up your soul. You know, this is a, a classic recipe and it's extremely good. So, thank you all so much for watching Explore Hunt. My name is Jeff. Hope you guys have a good one.